Hi, this is Michael Fields, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the concept of taxonomy and how it's used in WordPress. For many, taxonomy is a new word, and most times new words tend to deserve new definitions. First, let's illustrate. This is an orange, and the important thing to remember here is that an orange is food, and the United States Department of Agriculture has devised a unique system to classify different types of food. This system is commonly known as the food pyramid. As you can see, there are six separate sections, each of which represents a different type of food. We can easily classify the orange under the fruit food group. Now you may be asking yourself, what does fruit have to do with WordPress? So let's put it into perspective. The orange represents a post, the food pyramid represents a taxonomy, while the fruit food group represents a term of the taxonomy. Let's take a look at a live example. Um, here we're looking at a test installation of WordPress, and this is the screen for the GD Custom Posts and Taxonomies Tools plugin. Um, it lists all the default taxonomies that WordPress creates for us. You may recognize category, post tag, and link category. Plus, it gives us an option to add a new taxonomy. So we're going to use food group. And it's created it for us. And you can see food group now appears under our post menu. I've set up a couple posts. Here's our orange. We're going to edit this post. This would be a post about oranges. And we have food group box here, which we can now add fruit to. It's important to note that when we click add here, it doesn't associate this term with our post until we click update. Now that our post has been updated, we can view it. and you we'll notice that there are no food groups shown here. We have to take another step. So back into the WordPress administration panels and we're going to activate another plugin. This is the taxonomy terms list plugin. After activation, you can reload the page and you'll see that the orange is now classified as fruit. I have a taco post set up, and if we edit this and look at the content, it says this taco includes chicken cheese and a flour tortilla. So basically, it falls under three separate food groups, and we can use all three here. It's a dairy, meat, and grain. Update the post. And when we view the taco page, you'll see that we have food groups and dairy, grain, and meat. Um, quite simply, taxonomy is a method of organization. You can learn more at wordpress.mfields.org taxonomy. There's a bunch of ideas of different things you can do on your site or blog to use custom taxonomies. Thanks for watching.